There's a road that lies under northern skies toward the land of the midnight sun. It crosses the crest of the great northwest, and it's known as the Al Can Run. And from Dawson's Creek with a task force fleet of the 57 line, we'd blaze the way for Chevrolet to conquer the Alcan grind. Our engines were sealed, our tanks were sealed, for once we were underway, every mile of that ride would be certified by the seal of the AAA. Hamio Carrier 57. One ton panel 57. Dump body, tandem axle. Van panel body, low cab forward. Five speed transmission, tractor trailer. Tractor trailer, powermatic. The trucks of the task force fleet. A great new champion every weight. The mighty six, a great new weight. No other truck so up to date is Chevrolet. The champion of them all. Fighting dust, fighting time, on that long northern climb. Alone against all nature's might, these trucks made by Chevy, light, medium, heavy, roared into the wilderness night. The lightning flashed, the hailstorm crashed, the rain turned the road to paste. We drove our band through that washed out land up into the Yukon waste. The night is gone and here's the dawn, the motor's humming clear and strong, the great Champs are pushing on for Chevrolet, the champion of them all. So we made our push through the Arctic bush on that ribbon of mountainous road, and we held our stride on that rugged ride in spite of the heavy load. Our Matic transmission locked in position, no shifting from drive to low, proving by test that Chevy is best wherever a truck can go. There were rivers to span with our caravan, and the valleys were wide and deep. Though the way was hard, with hydraulic retard, we held where the grades were steep. Statistics say at the triple A, it's a 72-hour drive, but we roared down into Fairbanks town in less than 45. If you haul loads over all kinds of roads, Chevy trucks are number one. They're engineered best and proven by test, the champs of the Al Can Run. Task Force 57 Chevrolet trucks are here. Task Force 57 Chevrolet. Champs of the Al Can Run. But then, there's another handy way to get around and have fun doing it. The Renault Dauphine, the car made in France to make driving fun again. Balloons, please. Now, there's lots to talk about, so let's make the camera go fast. Watch for the fun car with the balloons. First, see the Dauphine's maneuverability in traffic. Look how it gets around and how it corners. Special axle design does that. And see how it accelerates and climbs. Driving economy gets up to 40 miles a gallon. Parking? <laughs> the big car couldn't get in the space. But watch this. With the Renault Dauphine, everybody's an expert. Lots of room for you to park inside. Handy as roller skates and twice the fun. Even has a city horn and a country horn. That's the Renault Dauphine. At any of 600 coast-to-coast -coast sales, service, and parts headquarters. Won't you try it?
beautiful? Some car, huh, folks? That was the 59 Chevy just then. All you over again. In case you missed it going by. We're gonna give you all another try. See it? Now that you've seen the new Chevrolet. In a somewhat subliminal way. We hope that you'll place your order right now. For the 59 Chevy. Here's how. Just go see your Chevrolet dealer right now. 59 Chevy's due out Thursday, October 16th. But you can get the details and place your order in advance. So come right in. And right away to your Chevrolet, Chevrolet dealer. new Chevrolet. This is a C-124, the largest transport plane in the Air Force. It's no picnic flying a payload over country like this. And when ice fog moves in over those mountains, then you're heading for trouble. Enter GCA, Ground Control Approach, the eyes of the Air Force, guiding planes to safety in bad weather situations. Every precaution is taken, including an emergency standby generator. Oh, ice fog's really socking in now. 51054, I have you in radar contact. Ceiling is zero. Visibility one sixteenth of a mile with ice fog over. Roger, understand the weather. The ice fog up here is pretty bad. Let's make it good the first time over. Perform your final cockpit check. Your gear down and locked over. Uh, Roger, cockpit check completed. Gear down and locked five four. Uh, Roger, five one zero five four. Your final controller. This is what the boys in the Arctic call a hairy situation. Our C-124 is flying totally blind through a treacherous ice fog mountain range, completely dependent upon GCA for its safe landing. Roger, your heading is 235. You're correcting over to the on course nicely. Your heading is 235. Now right, three degrees, heading 238. Stand by. Power failure. All contact with plane lost. The switch is turned on. 
the standby emergency generator dependent on battery power springs into instant action. The life-saving signal is resumed. Five miles east of the field, continue heading 240 at 2,000, over. Roger, nice approach, going to our frequency. Your heading is 238, you're now over touchdown point. Take over, complete your landing. Hi, Roger. We're home. Another Air Force mission accomplished. No sweat, thanks to GCA. Once the C-124 is safely down, the ground crew rolls out to greet her. Tractors, tow trucks, forklifts, and tankers, all dependent on battery power, gather around the giant bird to unload and service her. Fresh power, dependable power, is needed here. Absolutely fresh power, like the Delco dry charge battery. None of its vital power can waste away because this battery comes bone dry. Only when fluid is added does a Delco dry charge battery come to life. Ready for fast starts, dependable performance anywhere, under all conditions. When it's time to replace, make sure you get all the power you pay for. Power that can't get old before it's sold. Delco dry charge battery, made by the Delco Remy division of General Motors. Delco, available through the United Motors system and its independent dealers and distributors.